Hello friends, today I am going to tell you scope box, about the scope box in Revit architecture. So go to architecture, go to view, go to scope, scope box. Let's, this is our scope box, this. When we draw this rectangle in properties palette, we see that there is some name and of the scope box. So we can say like this is being A. Apply. Now another scope box add to this like this. This is being B. One thing I want to tell you. Views visible. This means in which views this being B, B is visible. Go to edit. And we can make it visible in this form okay we can edit this on also elevation east visible elevation north visible elevation west visible elevation south visible then ok if we see in our elevations see, these wing B this is wing A now go, go to level 1 we can rotate this we can rotate this viewport so we have to rotate it we have to rotate it at 45 degrees. So rotate it at 45. Okay. Now we go to level 1 duplicate. Duplicate with detailing. Let's rename as rename is wing A. Again, we duplicate it, duplicate with detailing. This is, sorry, this is the name wing B. Okay. If we are in this level 1, we are in level 1 now we see that in scope box option this is none when we go to wing a this scope box op option we can say like that wing a apply now we go to wing b in this scope box section we can say like wing b apply now you can see that it is at 45 degree but it is straight we can easily dimensioning it we can give the details as as much as details as we like so basically scope box but the function of scope box in Revit is to make uh, if a building has three wings like wing A, wing B, wing C, each wing can be easily detailed. Basically, this is the scope box function in private detailing. And we can see all the, uh, all our annotation properly in this wing B also and wing A also. Like our um, grades, our annotation on all this. 
so basically scope box give us detail about uh, if there are many if there is an l shape building or uh, v shape or c shape building for this we can use scope box as many as possible so that's all for this video thank you